And now I find there's green in the grass, there's gold in the moon, there's blue in the skies. That semicircle that was always hanging about is not a storm cloud, it's a rainbow. And you brought the colors out. Okay, you uh, Walt Disney fans all over the world, I'm going to give you a little uh, driving tour around the outside perimeter of the famous Walt Disney Studios. He moved in here from Hyperion in 1939, actually December, and he was working on uh, Pinocchio, and that came out in February of 1940. And then Fantasia, November 13th, 1940. And then The Reluctant Dragon, June, June of 1941. And then Dumbo, October 23rd, 1942. And then Bambi, August 1942. Okay, we're in the back. We're actually in the, uh, I would say the, maybe like the, uh, southeast side I'm gonna try to stop and pull over because it's pretty busy and here's the beginning of the old sound stages actually there were 50 acres that Walt bought here sometime in the early 30s and he paid two million dollars for these studios it was gonna be his animation utopia and I just want you guys to see get a good shot I'm gonna get a good shot of the famous recently built animation studios that he built and they built recently in memory of Roy and uh, that's I guess that's uh, Mickey Mouse's uh, sorcerer's hat from Fantasia okay here you go folks here's a uh, I guess I like I said the south entrance right here there's the water tower this is the studios that Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs built the millions of dollars. The revolution he started with that cartoon, that plausible, impossible type of uh, animation. And uh, if you see that uh, cartoon animation film today, it's so lifelike. And sadly, he never got that perfect ever again because the uh, production was so enhanced so fast everything was moving so fast plus he had to take on tons of work because the war had started soon after them feel, uh, moving into these studios here in Burbank and this is where uh, the hospital where across the street where he died in 1965 St. Joseph's and here's a gate and I was fortunate to walk in and take a walking tour on my own because I was a uh, delivery person and I had to deliver here great shot of the old sound stages here you go folks all over the world this studio that was built by the money generated from Snow White thanks Walt and Roy for giving us all that happiness and all that wonderful color And the great nine old men. Here's a really good shot. Pan around. And like I said, that's where he died, right there at St. Joseph's Medical Center. And we can't forget Madame Chouinard for what she did for uh, all his animators. And like I said before, I was I got to deliver here and walk around here, and I got a, I got to see the uh, those wonderful, beautiful, sleek, streamlined animation offices that he built for his uh, all his animators. His, his, this was his animation utopia. He didn't want it to have any ornate flourishes, and he built it clean, sleek, and streamlined like an air airplane. And those louvers and all the windows in there, you can see that in that film that Tom Hanks did. And uh, you can see the, how the louvers were placed along the window so to cut glare for his uh, artists. And uh, it's, it's really a nice looking place. It even looks like the way it did in 
1939 when he moved in here. Okay, let's go. I want you to see recently what they did. I guess maybe about, I wouldn't say recently, maybe about 10 years ago, they built a new entrance and they put uh, all statues of the seven dwarves, I guess in memorial or in memory of the concept of what the wealth that that movie generated for this motion picture studio. And please uh, check out my Shoe and Art, Art Institute video that I already uploaded. And here's Alameda Avenue. And uh, we're on Buena Vista. And that's why I guess that's why they name it now Buena Vista Productions. Obviously after the street. And as you can see those uh, Mickey Mouse heads at the top of the fence. The other icon that generated uh, him mil the millions of dollars that saved him through the depression and here you go here's that entrance I was telling you about and let me get a shot of the seven dwarves up there let me move forward so you can see go f let me see uh, go forward here and there are those old uh, animation uh, streamlined offices and here you go like I said, they probably built this about 10 years ago, this entrance right here. And this is where the, uh, fa the famous uh, revolt took place of all his animators in 1940. The famous uh, strike. And here you go. Okay, let me uh, go around here and then I'll get off and I'll get a shot of those. Uh, the Seven Dwarfs and there you go, Walt Disney Studios. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, I wanted to grab that, the Seven Dwarfs. And as you can see, uh, this is all brand new now. They just built these offices. And it's 50 acres. And he built it for $2 million. And uh, thank you, Walt, wherever you're at. And Roy, too. And uh, let's go through the back part. Okay, I'm gonna go around and then I'm gonna park and I'm gonna get a shot for you fans of Walt Disney all over the world of those statues I just mentioned. And now we're in the back, the back sets back here. Here are the sound stages. Stage seven. Haley Mills filmed all her movies here. And uh, Son of Flubber with Jeff Fred McMurray. And we just lost that great actor. What was his name? From the Love Bug, I forgot his name, I'm sorry. Dean Jones, yeah. Wow, all the, all the happiness that Walt generated in these film studios for us kids in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Okay, I just made a complete revolution now. Let's, I'm gonna go park at the front and uh, I'm gonna get off and I guess they're repairing this wall. Okay, let me, uh, I don't know if I can pull over or not. Okay, pull over right here and let me get off. And uh, let me get this shot for you fans all over the world of the new Roy uh, Disney Animation Studio offices. Pretty good shot right there. And that's where they do all the animation now. This wonderful old building. Probably the, one of the original sound stages or offices from the 1940s. Okay, let's uh, go to the front and we'll get the uh, shot of the seven dwarves. Okay. Thank you.